Hello learners, I, C. Ankur Kumar, welcome you all to a very interactive session of errors and their rectification in the studio of NIAOS. Today, we will interact and learn about errors and their rectifications, what are the types of errors we find in accountancy and how the same is being rectified. So, what will you learn in this whole subject? So, number one, to know the meaning of the accounting errors and the method of locating the error and the errors, classifying these accounting errors, understanding the meaning and the method of rectification of such errors, preparing the suspense account. So, what are the accounting errors? What do you mean by errors? So, errors are committed by person responsible for recording and maintaining the accounts. So, there are accounts person in every organization. So, finance is ever been the backbone of any organization for behind a strong success of an organization depends how good the finance is being maintained. So, the, while recording the accounting entries, the accountants generally commit some of the errors while recording such accounting entries. For example, omitting the transactions to record, recording in the wrong books or wrong accounts or wrong total and so on, omitting the transactions to record. So, there are such transactions which the accountants miss to record. For example, we have made any cash expenditure on behalf of the company and those expenditures are missed to be recorded in the books of accounts. Similarly, we have recorded the wrong entries in the books of accounts. Let's suppose while making any expenditure with respect to cash or bank, the wrong accounting entries is being posted. So, those are also an error. So, third type of error could be wrong totaling of the errors, which is also called transactional errors. So, let's suppose there was error or there was transaction amounting to 112 rupees, the accountant recorded the entry with 121 rupees. So, there are number of errors which can be done at the time of recording of the accounting entries. Let's try to understand what are those accounting entries, how these accounting entries errors are being rectified. So, forms of accounting errors, there are four forms of accounting errors, first is omission of a record. Second is missing of a record, third is mistakes in total, fourth is mistakes in recording. So let's try and let's discuss about each and type of accounting errors. Let's start with omission of a record. Uh, there are two persons, Ram and Sham, working in an organization for XYZ Private Limited. Now uh, Ram spended, uh, he was traveling for an official purposes, he spended thousand rupees towards the traveling between New Delhi to Bhumneshwar. He at the end of the month, he submitted all the books with the accountant to process the amount to him. Now the accountant missed to record that transaction and accordingly the amount was not paid to the RAM. So this is called omission of a record. Second is mistakes in total. Now when we talk about mistakes in total, this is very general mistake. Let's suppose uh, there was an amount of 1000 rupees, but however calculating the 1000 rupees, he made a totaling of 1200 rupees. So that is called a mistake in totaling of the amounts. Third is mistake in recording. What do you mean by mistakes in recording? Let's suppose there was an expenditure of 1000 rupees. Therefore, the accounting entry which should have been passed would have been RAM debit to cash while making the expenditure. However, the accounting entry has been passed vice versa, that is cash debit to RAM. That means the company is taking cash of 1000 rupees from RAM. So, this is called mistake in recording. Always keep in mind, there, many, there may be two types of accounting errors. One that causes disagreement of the trial balance, another that do not affect the agreement of the trial balance. So, what do you mean by disagreement of the trial balance? So, disagreement of the trial balance means the debits, there are two sides of the trial balance. One is the debit side, another is the credit side. So, the totaling of the trial balance should match and it should be zero. That's how the financial statements of the organization is being prepared. When there is a disagreement in the trial balance, that means the debit side or the credit side of the trial balance is different. Therefore, there is an error, accounting error and we have to identify where those errors has happened 
and then accordingly rectification of such errors should be taken care of. Second one is that do not affect the agreement of the trial balance. Let us suppose we have passed the dual entry, one has gone to the debit side, one other has called gone to the credit side. However, the as per the accounting principles, the, uh, the balances have gone into the wrong books of accounts. For example, when we close the books of accounts, we talk about the profit and loss statement of profit and loss as per the schedule 3 of the Companies Act. So, it talks about various expenditures which needs to be incurred, which has been incurred by the company. So, when, we, uh, when th there has been wrong accounting, let's suppose the traveling expenses has gone into the local conveyance or the local conveyance has gone, gone into the petty cash expenses of the organization. Therefore, this is called uh, ag expenditure which has not affected the trial balance and accordingly the debit and the credit side of both the trial balance matches and therefore there is no as such effect however as per the accounting principle the account there has been an accounting error. So, let us discuss about how to locate such errors when the trial balance does not agree. So, there are six ways to locate such errors. Number one, check the total of the trial balance. Second, check the mistake while recording. Third, find the exact difference. Fourth, recheck the total. Fifth, check the balancing of the various accounts. Sixth, if difference is not traced, check each and every entry. So, dear learners, let us discuss each and type of how we should locate such errors when the trial balance does not agree between debit and the credit side. First, you should check where the total of the trial balance is being equal. That means debit and the credit size is equal or not. For example, uh, the debit side of the trial balance is 100 rupees. However, the credit side of the uh, trial balance is 120 rupees. That means the credit side of the trial balance is 20 rupees greater than the debit side. Therefore, the, uh, the financial statements do not agree and there is accounting principle issues in the uh, while preparing the accounting records. Second is check the mistake while recording. So, the accounting is being made through journal vouchers, cash vouchers or the bank vouchers. So, while recording the vouchers, we should go and recheck those accounting entries, whether these accounting entries have been passed correctly or not. Third is find the exact difference. We should locate how the difference has happened, for which we should go and check the log. That log, when I talk about log, log means various accounting entries which has been passed while making the accounting entries. If we talk about tally, so the, in the tally there is a, a space called statistics. When you go in and check the statistics, you will find out various types of accounting entries which has been passed by the accountants, which includes journals, which includes cash, which, on, which includes bank, which includes sales and which includes n number of uh, accounting entries which has been passed by the accountant. While checking the exact difference, you should recheck the accounting entries which has been passed by the accountant and therefore, the exact difference could have been traced on. Fourth, recheck the total. So, when I talk about the recheck of the total, we should re remember the first point which I talk, talk about which says check the total of the trial balance. So, while checking the uh, accounting entries, we should recheck what is the accounting and uh, what, what is the amount as per the accounting voucher, what are, what are the amount as per the supportings of the accounting voucher and what is the entry which has been passed in the books of accounts. So, if all the three of them are agree with each other, that means the accounting entry has been passed correctly. However, we have to recheck again with respect to the accounting principles. Fourth, check the balancing of the various accounts. As dear learners, as you know, there are a number of accounts in the books of accounts. So, while checking the trial balance, we should check what, what are the balances coming in the various accounts, both on the asset liability side and on the profit and loss accounts. So, when we check on the various ledgers, we find out what are the balances which are coming and what are the errors which has happened. Fourth, if the difference is not traced, each and every, you need to check each and every entries. So, however, at the time of, uh, there, there could be voluminous entries in an organization and you cannot come upon how the accounting entry has been different, how, how the error has happened. So, you need to check each and every entry which has been passed and therefore, you need to locate the error which has happened at the time of posting of the accounting entries. Let us discuss when the trial balance does not agree to each other. Number one, we need to identify and locate how the error has happened. 
There are six methods, six various ways how to locate the errors. Let's discuss each and every of them. So first one is, let's check the total of the trial balance. Second, check for the mistake while recording. Third, find the exact difference. Fourth, recheck the total. Fifth, check the balancing of various accounts. Sixth, if the difference is not traced, check each and every entry. So now let's discuss about each and every topic, how, these, how the errors can be located. Learners, number one, we should check the total of the trial balance. That should be the thumb rule. So if on the debit side and the credit side of the trial balance agrees, that means there are no errors with respect to the uh, when the trial balance does not agree. However, there could be principal errors of the accounting. So we need to first of all recheck whether the debit balance and the credit balance of the trial balance agree to each other. For example, the debit side of the trial balance is rupees 100. However, the credit side of the trial balance is 120 rupees. That means the credit balance is disagree to the debit balance by 20 rupees. Therefore, the total of the trial balance do not agree to each other. Therefore, the trial balance do not agree and there are some errors which has been passed by the accountant while passing the accounting entry. Second, check for the mistake while recording. So as we know, there, the accounting entries are being passed through the supportings, through the accounting vouchers. Therefore, we should go back to the accounting entries, how those have been passed. Therefore, we should recheck the supportings, supportings through the accounting vouchers. It could be journal, it could be cash, it could be bank, it could be sales. Any of the ledgers could, can create a difference. So therefore, we should recheck on those uh, accounting entries which has been passed. Then how we will come out, what is the exact mistake which has been passed by the accountant while making the accounting entries. Third, find the exact difference. Fourth, recheck the total. When talk about the recheck of the total, let's remember the first point which I uh, told you with respect to check the total of the trial balance. You remember that if I explained you up a couple of minutes back the difference between the debit balance and the credit balance. The credit balance was disagreeing to the debit balance by 20 rupees. Therefore, we should every time recheck the total of the trial balances. Fifth, check the balances of various accounts. There are n number of accounts in the account well, while we prepare the accounts. So while, while checking of the trial balance, we should check whether all the balance of the various accounts are agreeing to each other or not. So number, last point is if the differences is not traced, Check each and every entry. In an organization, there could be small accounting entries, there could be voluminous accounting, entry, accounting entries. However, if the differences are not being traced, we should go back and check to the each and every entry which has been passed by the accountant. In the tally software, there's a system called statistics. You should go into the statistics. You can find out various accounting entries with respect to journal, with respect to cash, with respect to bank, with respect to any accounts which has been passed by the accountant accountant. So you should go and check each and every accounting entries for how the accounting error has been occurred. Next, let's discuss about when the trial balance agree to each other. So it's the biggest uh, thing which we need to focus on. It's very easy to locate accounting errors when the trial balance does not agree to each other. Remembering to the same example, debit balance of 100 rupees, credit balance of 120 rupees and there was a disagreement of 20 rupees. However, in this scenario, the debit balance is also 100 rupees and credit balance is also 100 rupees. However, as per the accounting principle, as per the Indian gap, the accounting entry has been passed incorrectly. For example, while passing the depreciation entry, the correct depreciation entry should have been depreciation account debit to accumulated depreciation. However, the depreciation entry has been passed by depreciation account debit to the fixed assets. That means fixed assets gross block is being reduced by the amount of depreciation. While preparing the trial balance, there could be no errors find it out because the, the accounting entry has been passed correctly with respect to conceptually. The, uh, one is going to debit side, another going to the credit side. Therefore, there is no such errors. However, as per the accounting principle, the, it is going to reduce the gross block of the uh, fixed assets. Therefore, we should be very focused towards how these ac accounting entries are being happened and there should be strong concept learning towards the correct accounting entries. So there are four types of uh, errors which can happen while preparing the trial balance. Number one, omission of a record. 
second recording of a wrong amount, third post the correct amount on the correct side, fourth items are re-recorded. Let us now discuss about each and every things. Number one, omission of a record. Learners, you remember we discussed couple of minutes back about how these omission of record happens. For example, there Ram went for a travel expenditure between New Delhi to Bhubaneswar. He submitted an expenditure of 1000 rupees to the accountant. However, accountant missed to pass that accounting entries into the books of accounts. It remained into his cupboard itself. Therefore, there has been no posting of the accounting records and the trial balance are, are unrecorded by 1000 rupees. The, this is called omission of a record. The accountant has missed to post an accounting entries which he was supposed to pass an accounting entries. Second, recording of a wrong amount. Coming back to the same example, Ram has post given an expenditure of 1000 rupees. However, he has posted an expenditure of 1200 rupees. Therefore, he has posted an expenditure of traveling expenses debit 1200 rupees to Ram 1200 rupees. Therefore, the accounting entry is being incorrect by rupees 200. However, as per the supportings, the correct amount should have been 1000 rupees. However, the as per the accounting entry, it is 1200 rupees. Third, post the correct amount on the correct side. What we talk about correct amount on the correct side is let's suppose there is a 1000 rupees he posted on the wrong side. Let's suppose we talked about traveling expense to Ram. He passed, he passed a vice a vice entry which says Ram debit to traveling expenses. There will be no impact both on the debit side and the correct side. However, this amount is going to impact the incorrect uh, accounting ledgers. Fourth, items are recorded. So, when the items are recorded, we should be very focused towards checking how these errors have happened. Let us now discuss about what are the classifications of the uh, errors. So, there are two classification of the errors. One is on the basis of their nature. Second, on the basis of their impact on the ledger amounts. So, when I talk about on the basis of their nature, first is error of omission, second is error of commission, third is error of principle. We will discuss on each type of these errors in detail after this. So, second type is on the basis of their impact on the ledger amount. There could be one sided errors, second is the two sided errors. When I talk about the one sided errors, we should think about the trial balance should not agree. When I talk about the two side errors, that means the trial balance is going to agree on both the debit side and the credit side. However, the, there is an impact on the principal side. So, now let us discuss about basis of the errors of omission, errors of commissions, and errors of principal. So, let us now discuss on the errors of omission. What do you mean by errors of omissions? We discussed couple of minutes back. Let us suppose Ram has traveled between New Delhi to Bhubaneswar for a traveling expense, for a business expenditure for on behalf of an organization. He has given the account, uh, the expenditure he has incurred of 1000 rupees to the accountant at the month end to be processed to him. However, the accountant has missed to uh, to, uh, to pass that accounting entry in the books of accounts. This is called error of omission. Error of omission is means is he missed to pass that accounting entry in the books of accounts. So, he has omitted to or he has missed to pass that account entry in the books of account. It could be partially, it could be totally. If I talk about partially, that means instead of 1000 rupees, he passed an accounting entry of 500 rupees. That means he missed to pass an account entry of 500 rupees. The trial balance will agree because the, the expenditure he has posted is correct as per the accounting principle, both on the debit side and both on the credit side. Therefore, there will be no disagreement with the trial balance. However, he has missed to pass an error of omission. Second is errors of commission. What do we mean by errors of commissions? The transaction which has been recorded, but an error is committed in the process. Let us suppose there is a depreciation entry. So, we pass an accounting entry with respect to depreciation. However, there was a different, there was a omission, uh, there was an error happened at the time of passing an entry. Third is errors of principle. What do we mean by errors of principle? If the transactions are recorded in violation of this principle, what are the principles of preparing a books of accounts? In India, the books of accounts are being prepared as per the Indian gap and in AS which has been recently implemented by the government of India. 
So when we talk about Indian gap, there, there are three principles of account, accounting. So while passing an accounting entry, there could be error with respect to error of principle. As we discussed about depreciation, there could be entry with respect to depreciation debit to gross block. However, the correct accounting entry should be depreciation debit to the accumulated depreciation. There will be no impact on the both on the debit side and the correct credit side of the trial balance and the trial balance will agree to each other. However, there is an impact as per the principle. The accounting entry has been passed wrong as per the accounting principles. So the accounts should be prepared as per the principles and the Indian gap. So let's now discuss about one-sided errors and two-sided errors. What do, you, what do you mean by one-sided errors? We discussed about if the debit balance do not agree with the credit balance, it means one-sided errors. Second is two-sided errors, the errors which affects two separate accounts. Let's now discuss about how the rectification should be done. So there are two methods of rectification. One is while before preparing a trial balance, second one is after preparing a trial balance. When we talk about before preparing a trial balance, there is an instant corrections or correcting correction in the affected accounts. So let's now discuss about the suspense account. So the sum of debit column and the sum of the credit column should agree. But if the totals do not agree, the difference amount is written in a suspense account. Suspense account is summarized as a temporary account showing the net effect of the errors. For example, we are unable to locate the error, how the error has happened. The amount is being posted to a suspense account. However, the correct accounting should be finding out what are the amounts in the suspense account and those suspense accounts should be parked into the correct books of accounts. For instance, Amit account was debited short by rupees 100. The error will rectif rectify it through suspense account by debiting Gopal account and crediting to the suspense account. Amit account is debited by 100 rupees and suspense account is create, credited by 100 rupees. Second example, sales books for the December 2019 is undercast by 500 rupees. The error will be rectified by debiting suspense account and crediting to the sales account. Therefore, suspense account is debited by 500 rupees and sale is being credited by 500 rupees. That's how the correct accounting entries is being passed and rectification is being done through suspense account. Just to summarize it up, we learned about the accounting errors which affects trial balance, second accounting entries which do not affect the trial balance. We in length, we discussed about errors of omission, errors of commissions, errors of principles, one-sided error and two-sided errors and how the same is rectified by passing through the accounting errors through the suspense account and the treatment of the suspense account to the correct ledgers as per the books of accounts. I hope. Dear learners, you would have learned about the accounting errors and the rectification of the same. Thank you. Namaskar. T.A. Ankur Kumar.